Okay, you guys, I want to go over a, a key part of Excel that you might not um, have utilized yet that will be really helpful um, in terms of merging data sets, uh, both uh, in this class, but also in, in future classes and just in your career. So what I want to talk about is this notion of X lookup. And so the idea here is here we have a data set. Okay, let's say this is, uh, when it, well, it doesn't matter, it's, it's something. And we have another data set that we want to relate. So we want to put these items uh, in the correct columns. Now, if we have just three or four uh, things, we can go ahead and do it by hand. But once we start getting to, you know, dozens and dozens or hundreds or even thousands of things, that just is totally um, unrealistic and a waste of time. One, two, you very well will in introduce an error. If you're typing in one or two, three things, maybe not, but, but when you type in a lot of stuff, almost always there's the probability of uh, problems that are introduced by accidentally hitting the wrong key or what have you. So let's talk about how we do this. So let's say we want to, so let's say we want to know if people are old or young in these different areas. Now key thing here is I have this which is our FIPS code and I have uh, a FIPS code here. So I have something that can relate these two things. If we don't have a unique identifier for each particular row we need to get that in, so that would be the first step. So first we want to merge any, any multiple data files we have together, then make sure that they all have a correct unique identifier, and then we can go ahead and merge these things with this X lookup. So let's see how this looks. So what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come over here, I'm going to click my cell, and I'm going to type the equal sign in. Again, that's gonna signal that we're doing an equation. Then I'm gonna type X, I'm gonna type X, and then as soon as I start to type it, it'll auto-populate. I can also search for this term, whatever. So I'm going to hit X lookup. And notice there's a bunch of options here. There's three things that are required. And uh, there's three optional stuff, which we'll, we'll leave off for now. You don't, don't typically need those in what we're doing. So lookup value is the thing we're looking for. Lookup array is where we're going to reference that. And then the return array is going to be what values we want to bring into our cell. So here we go. Let's. I can just go ahead and type it in, or I can click this guy, and I can say, here we go. That's my first lookup. I'm going to hit comma to jump to the next one. And the lookup array, so I'm going to go over to here, and I'm going to click this whole row. Because I could also, I could also have selected it. You know, it could do something like this, but I'm just going to click the whole row. Um, that's where I'm going to be referencing. Hit comma, and then my return array is going to be right here. Now, uh, I can just close my equ equation with the parentheses, hit return, mm -hmm. and now, um, turns out, uh, and then I'm going to copy this formula down. So check it out. So now it turns out that this guy was old, this guy was young, this guy was young, this guy was old, etc. These uh, particular values, these, these um, um, counties, county identifier codes did not have any information. So by default, it's going to say, doesn't make sense, uh, no data available. However, if we wanted to get fancy, we could come in here, hit common, and say, if not found, we could type something like, no data. And then when we copy this down, It'll look even slicker, right? And it'll come up like that. We could also come up here and I could also type in quote, quote. So nothing in between. So just say fill it in blank if it's empty, right? And now when I paste that down, now um, things we had no associated data for will come up as simply a blank cell. So that's X lookup. That's how you can merge or join two different data sets into a single sheet. And now we're ready to go ahead and start analyzing um, this one unified data set using XLOOKUP.